All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 22. This is the thick fall map. We're playing multiplayer. Um, guys, I cut down a bunch of trees uh, between nights. Actually, I was doing this uh, in the dark um, and I tried to pile them over here. So we cut down all the trees that are right up against our property line. I still got that tree to move so we could maybe get the field a little bit bigger. <laughs> all the... All the uh, field I can get would be great. Um, we should probably cut this tree down and then these right here. But I cut down these. If you remember, these trees all came out into here. We should probably cut this one down too. But I got a whole stack of trees here that we need to get rid of as well. So that might give us a little bit of income. I went ahead and um, harvested the uh, canola. And I went ahead. I know I said we weren't, we weren't going to buy any more money. But we bought our uh, mulcher, which was like 21000 I think. So we bought a mulcher and uh, mulched this field. So it should be pretty good for the next harvest. We're going to go ahead and rent a um, a header for the uh, sunflowers. And then I want to see how much money we have. And hopefully we have enough where this guy doesn't sell this farm here. I'd like to buy this one here. So that would be our goal for today. So let's go ahead and let's take, let's jump in our tractor, all right? And let's uh, detach this. Uh, my tractor, that 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 mulcher is a little bit, <laughs> it's a little bit powerful for my tractor. I'm not gonna lie, I had a little bit of a hard time doing that thing. So let's take this back. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll just use our hands, <laughs> we'll just use our hands. Um, so we're going to take this back and we'll get the other header. We'll lease it. So we are going to lease stuff. And, um, and then we will, uh, get that guy started on that field. And then I am going to see if we can find, uh, maybe a, a flatbed or something where we can go ahead and get that lumber loaded up and take it somewhere where we can sell it. So. I gotta find a place first that that can buy wood. I think there's a couple places on this map that buys wood, so that'll be good to get that little bit extra income. I I think if I remember correctly, it's about eighteen hundred to two thousand dollars a tree, and I think we have probably a dozen trees, so that'll help a little bit. I'll recoup the funds that we spent probably on on the uh, mulcher, but I did the mulcher is gonna be important because we do have uh, the direct seeder. So I still want to use the mulcher so we can get that extra um, fertilizer state. Now, if we do soybeans, soybeans don't require any fertilizer. So we we'll uh, probably won't need to buy any fertilizer, but we'll probably have to buy a crap ton of lime, um, which at $300 a load doesn't seem much, but um, you go through lime uh, like it's water, so we'll have to watch that. So let's see how much. I don't think it's going to be very expensive. Let's pull in here. Let's run into the shop. I know you can press P. We're just going to do it this way. Uh, anything on sale? So I think Link told me that he wants to buy this. It's still on here, so uh, good luck. <laughs> um, this is still on here. It doesn't look like anything changed, so we, we might be okay. It doesn't look like anything changed. So I need to get a corn header and I don't really care which one. They're all about the same, right? Six meters, six meters. I mean, we have a small farm. This is fine right here. The six meter one's probably gonna be fine. Um, That's $120,000, my God, 89,000. This one's 53,000. How much is it just to, to lease it? Um, uh, lease is, uh, that's fine. We'll do that. We'll lease that. And then how much is it for a, just a trailer, a little flatbed? Probably, hmm, you know what? I don't, well, we'll see. Let's go down here to uh, low loaders and we need one that I can pull like this because we got some pretty long limbs on there. That doesn't give me the length, but I think we could probably put some trees on there and back that out. This is what I was kind of wanting to do. This one, we could probably put a couple trees on that one. I can pull this with my tractor. It's not that much, um, but the only other item I think would be useful or be able to carry that would be, uh, be nothing in there. 
Um, I mean, we could see a forestry. He's got like a little pool trailer. I don't think, well, it does have one, doesn't it? Right here, a timber trailer. So we could put it in that. Uh, that's eight meters. So that's super short. All right. So, uh, length eight meters. We need something longer than eight meters for sure. Or we could cut them down. You know what? We could actually cut them down. We could do that. I might lease that too. We'll see. Uh, let's go ahead. I know this isn't realistic. Don't get on my don't get on my balls about it. So we're gonna put this on here, and we should just be able to drop it on there or not. Let's try it again. <laughs> let's let's pick this up. Oh, I think it's actually on there. Oh no. Oh no. It's gonna scrape. That's gonna suck. Oh man. Okay. Well, we'll just have to carry it like this. <laughs> That's kind of stupid. We'll just carry it like this. Uh, we'll get our sunflowers picked. Now, I don't know. I, I haven't done sunflowers. I think I think the last time I've done sunflowers was when we were doing the uh, wild west, or not wild west, wild west. It was wild something. It's the map that was very similar to No Man's Land that I did. And um, we had to do sunflowers on there for one of the productions. So this will be interesting. But that's... Oh my god, I don't even have it. All right, let's turn around and go get it. Got to turn around and go back. It fell off. I see it, though. It looked like it was on, didn't it? All right, let's grab this bad boy. All right, so... All right, I think it goes on there this way. I think it goes on there like this. All right, like that. Oh, I didn't mean to throw it. <laughs> let's try that again. This might not work at all because we're not using the... Let's see. Does it have a strap? I don't think it has straps, does it? All right. Well, let's just... Uh, that, that car doesn't like what we're doing. We're just going to turn here. And we'll just have to watch it. I think it's on there, though, because I think I had it on backwards. Yeah, I think that's on there. Okay, cool. All right, let me get this back. We'll, uh, I'll get it hooked up. We'll get my guy started, and then uh, we might drive way back down here and grab one of those little flatbeds for our trees. I got to see where... Uh, let's check on something. Where can we sell wood at? Uh, wood chips. The wood chip sale. Um, it doesn't really show like where you can sell wood at. We might have to put a sell point in here for wood. Uh, wood beams wood planks uh i'll have to look around and see if there's a place to sell wood because it's no oh, extra it's right here so carpentry all right we can sell it at the carpentry at the sawmill let's go ahead and tag that where is that at uh way back there okay that's gonna be interesting how to get back there i don't know what roads take us back there so let me get all this done we'll get that uh, lumber loaded up and we'll take it over there and get some money out of it how many farmers do you know that use their combines to pull a grain trailer? <laughs> well, that's what we're going to do because uh, I got all of the sunflowers picked. And you can see we got uh, 9,000 or actually 8,000 liters of sunflowers. And we had 4,300 liters of canola. So, And it says that we need to take it to the grain mill so i thought well uh instead of making two trips with my tractor because i'd have to take like both loads well, we can just do it this way so hopefully it doesn't have one of those drive under ones because i don't think i can get my combines um boom extended in one of those grain mills but I had it marked. It's hard to see when you're playing. This is 6 o'clock in the morning, so the sun's glaring. But we did have, like, a marker. I can kind of see it. It's over here to my right. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's it's right there beside this, right to the left of the sun. Oh, I see it. It's that big, gigantic place over there. You can see the, the stack it's way out there in the distance. So that's, uh, I think we need to go downtown, and then there's a bridge. Um, I was thinking about going ahead and bringing the uh, header back over here, but depending on which or how much money we get, we might buy one of those other fields. So one's canola and one is sunflowers. And if the sunflower one ends up being better choice, 
Uh, we'll probably just go ahead and harvest it. Let's see. Do we probably want to... Oh, my God. That red car just about plowed into me. I didn't use my turn signals. Maybe we should put our hazards on. There we go. Let's put our hazards on so everybody can see us. The people in town are probably like, this stupid new farmer come in here. He thinks he can drive his tractor everywhere. Yes, I do. Wouldn't you know it, it's one of the ones you drive through. <laughs> That's my luck. Hopefully we can fit through there. I think I can tip this one. I'm um, definitely not going to be able to put out my boom. So we might tip it and then drive through. And then unload and then drive through again. That might work. Let's see if this will work. Oh my god, this is going to be so tight. Oh, it fits. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> All right. So we can unload this. Get some money for it. We should probably get like uh, like $5,000 maybe. Uh, 4600 That's fine. And then we'll need to uh, drive out. Let's do a U-turn. And then we will... Oh, this actually has a little concrete barrier. It's kind of cool. I like that. So, um, let's see. If we, drive, if we drop it off here, and then I turn around, and I put my boom out. Here, let's just do a U-turn out here in the street. We'll make sure there's no traffic coming. It's kind of cool over here. I like it. This definitely isn't how you're supposed to do it. All right, we'll put this in here. So, this will give us uh, probably another... I don't know, what, $9,000 maybe? Not as much as what I was hoping, <laughs> not gonna lie. So we're gonna need, we're gonna need uh, quite a bit from the wood uh, if, we're, if we're gonna plan on buying that property. If not, we'll just uh, re replant and we'll, we'll wait for next season to buy it. So there's that. All right, cool. Don't try this at home, folks. All right, let's back up and get this, and we'll see how much we get from this. And then I am going to... Uh, I only got uh, one, uh, not even a whole pile, loaded uh, of wood. So we're going to have to make a couple trips on the wood, but we'll get, a, we'll get a good feeling. Maybe I can go in here backwards. Let's try to see if we can go through here backwards. doesn't really say there's an in and out. Cool. Now, I don't know if there's hidden objects on this map, like collectibles or not. I didn't really look at the description to see. All right, $11,000. That's not bad. That's a pretty good harvest. That was the sunflowers, right? Oh, Jesus. That's why they put that there. <laughs> pretty sure this isn't what you're supposed to do. All right, we got our wood. Uh, got a little issue, though. When you um, strap it in, it wants to flip. So we're going to have to go really slow. We got to go, like, somewhere um, over there. So let's get our map. I just want to see, like... Oh, my map is number nine. Um, that's not even what I'm looking for, either. Uh, let's go into here. And we got to go all the way up there. It's hard to see where the roads are on this map. It's so freaking blurry. Uh, it looks like there's a road here and then a road. So if, okay, I can just go down. Okay, we can just go this way. Uh, hopefully we don't like lose all our stuff. All right, we'll just go this way. But yeah, if, as soon as you put the uh, the straps on, it goes crazy. It wants to, it wants to roll over by itself. So, and I've noticed that on a lot of uh, wagons or trailers, I should say, that are for lumber, as soon as you strap stuff in, it just goes crazy. It's like the trees don't, like the trees have a collision box or something that's bigger than than um, than the trailer, and it causes it to move around and it, it gets all jittery and stuff. It's weird. So I'm gonna take this first load back. We'll see how much we get because I got about this much more to take again. Um, I think all we need is like 50,000 for this lot. Is that what it was? 
seventy thousand. This one's one hundred and thirty-eight. So yeah, this one's seventy thousand dollars. Seventy. These are one hundred and sixty a piece. So this is the one I kind of want to go for. There's no way we're gonna be able to get this one. So seventy thousand would be fine. So we're only like we're halfway there. Um, I don't think we're gonna get it though. That's the only problem. So we might have to wait another harvest, which is fine. I'm not in a big rush, as you can see. I'm just gonna drive on this one-lane road all the way to the lumber or to, yeah to the lumber place. This is a nice little property here too. Holy crap! Look how flat that is. Oh, I like that. How much is this property? <laughs> uh, this one is 105. I really like that property. Like that's where I'd like to put a maybe the barn and stuff. I think I'll put the barn behind us, but that property is you know 160,000. I'm gonna invest 160,000 for a lot, right? And then I gotta turn around and put a barn on it that's gonna cost me like 300,000. So it's not like not financially like the red, the best idea. Uh, looks like we go this way. This was one of the other farms here that we looked at on the left. And then I think we turn here. Yeah, this is where we turn. Just be careful. All right, we're gonna go up the hill. So we gotta go back here. I've never played this map, guys, so that's why I'm like, I have no idea where we're going. <laughs> I have no idea where we're going. All right, looks like this is a lumber yard. All right, so we gotta go around the back, looks like. Yep, all right, here we go. So I'm guessing that this is gonna be probably like, I don't know, 10,000? Oh, I need to find the trigger to sell it right here. $20,000? Wow. All right, so that means I'm gonna get another 20,000 out of the next load. And we might have too much for that load. Wow, that's a that's a pretty good return on the wood. I just wonder, uh, I wonder how much we would get for wood chips. I just, I'm wondering if wood chips would be maybe easier for me to haul, right? We just put them in the trailer and bring them over here. Um, was this the road? Yeah, this was the road. All right. Well, let me go get the other ones. Uh, I will meet you back here when I got it all done. And we'll see how much money we have and see what we are going to do next. All right. So this is the second load. And um, I still have like four trees left to pick up but this is all i could put on here i really didn't do a good job i mean it looks nice but i didn't get them all the way to the front so whatever uh so we're gonna take this i don't know if i'm gonna go back and get the other four trees we'll see how much i i can tell that this one's a lot more than the other one because of the my tractor is having a hard time getting up the hills so i'm guessing this one's gonna be over 20 grand uh, and if that's the case, we might have enough to buy that other property. I won't have to worry about the wood. Um, I'll probably continue cutting down some trees, though, because, um, I mean, I still have probably 10 trees that are on my property that I can cut. And we can get money for them. So if, if trees are getting us that much of a profit, we might as well utilize it. So let's see what we get. That was only 17. That was a lot more than <laughs> whatever. <laughs> That was way off. All right, so we got 74000 How much is this property? It is 70000 That leaves us with $4,000 left. But I'm going to harvest the product on the field, right? And then we're going to replant these two fields here. So we'll replant these. We'll plant this one. And then we'll just re we'll, we'll recoup our money from all of this. So I think I'm going to go ahead and buy that one. So let's go ahead and buy it. We'll leave that leaves us with $4,000 left, right? And then let's go ahead. Let's jump back over here. Let's grab this guy. Let's drop him off and then we're going to go ahead and get our header put on i don't like this header by the way um i might switch it out with another one we'll see how it is on this one it's it for some reason the front of it drags uh, on the ground it just seems like it's a it's a little overkill <laughs> for what we need but um yeah it's kind of weird the way it works so let's uh, unfold this and we'll get uh, this this uh canola field done i'm going to uh go get a little mini plow we'll buy it and uh, i think i can get one for under three thousand and then we will see how we want to do this <gasps> i'm destroying my crops crap i forgot about that all right so we want to turn this on all right so we're gonna turn this on Uh, I don't think this canola has straw, does it? No, it doesn't. All right, so then we're going to go like this. Uh, actually, wrong button. This. And then we're going to go to course. Uh, let's set two. Let's see how this looks if we do two of them. Yeah, that's fine. He's going up and down the hill, though. I wish I could change it. Field center, left spiral, racetrack, lands up and down. Um, I need to figure out how to switch the... Um, switch the... Like, you can't switch... See how it's left to right? I wanted to go top up and down uh row skip yeah I, there's they used to have that on here but it, there's it's not on here anymore so we'll just go with it 
So I need to see like the whole thing here. Uh, if you're using course play, that's how you set it up, right? And then you want to make sure, even though that's the starting point, you want to make sure that the computer, or when when you say go, you want to make sure you get past this first junction point. Otherwise, the computer might think that you're on your second path, and it will take off on this one, and you'll completely miss the first uh, headland. So I always get past that little point there, and then I tell him to go like that. And then we want to go in here also and click on this, and then we want to go to... Uh, stop while unloading. Click on activate. Otherwise, if you pull up beside him and he starts dumping, he takes off. <laughs> it's kind of stupid. All right, so we got that guy done. We're going to take this tractor back. Uh, come on, man. Here we go. I put a little marker on the ground, so I don't want that. I don't even want that on there. All right, so we're going to take this back. I am going to... Um, I think I can get a... You know what? I might go ahead and get that wood. How much is like a, just a little mini plow cost? Uh, we need to go into this. Just a mini plow. Uh, subsoiler will work. Uh, I think this can create fields too. It can be in... Yeah. So it's 29,000. Uh, so it's perfectly good grape olive. It can be used instead of a plow. How big is it? One meter? It's three feet? <laughs> uh, back. Is there a little or like a smaller one? Uh, that's a subsoiler. Let's look at uh, spaders. Nope. Can't get that one. Uh, plow. Yeah, that's the cheapest plow, isn't it? Crap. So this one is like a half a meter. So we might get that little subsoiler and use it. I just want to, you know what? We just lease one. We'll just lease one. So did I come? I came in this way. I got lost last time. I took off like that way, I think. So yeah, we need to go this way and then uh let's see do we want to make a turn here is this correct yeah i think yeah i think this is it i think i want to go this way and just keep going to the right i think last time i made a that's what i did i made a left right here and ended up on top of the mountain like a little um stop little stop and go place but we want to go this way yep that's right all right let me go get that um i'm going to probably go rent a plow and uh, get the other two fields combined. And by that time, they should all be ready. And next episode will probably be planting. And uh, we'll see where things go from there. So um, I think that's all we're going to do today. We got lots of stuff done today. And I'm pretty happy with where we're at. Um, oh, it says he's blocked by an object. All right, let's go see what he's blocked by. All right, so he's blocked by a tree. So we'll help him out here. So we need to get these trees. Yeah, there is a tree there, isn't there? All right, so we'll help him. Get past that first little part there. Yeah, they got the trees like right up against the field. So that's what I did on my on my property. Where are we at? Over there. That's why I cut down all the shrubs. See, this is where I'm having a problem with this header. It is literally like dragging on the ground. It, this has nothing to do with the hill and the power to get up the hill. It has nothing to do with it. So, this isn't going to work. <laughs> so, I'm going to switch this plow or this header out. There's just something wrong with it. Um, I think it's just a collision on the ground or something. It doesn't work. It drags on the ground. So, uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. I'm going to go ahead and cancel this guy. So, let's go ahead and uh, let's turn this off. Actually, we'll go ahead and lower that, and then let's go ahead and go into here, and then cancel this whole thing. I'm going to get this as a screenshot, like that, with that balloon in the background. How beautiful is that? I'll get that as a screenshot. So, yeah, guys, I will see you next time. Make sure you go uh, check out Link's videos, too. I think he's getting ready to upload one, and or he already has by the time mine comes out. And uh, I will see you next time.